Today, I'm gonna to do a quick walkthrough of square appointments to help you feel comfortable taking your first appointment. First, we'll sign into Square from squareup.com. And once we've signed in, we'll navigate over to Appointments and then Calendar. This will give you a view of your upcoming and past appointments. This page you can customize at the top by date range, location, and staff. If you do have staff, one of the first things you'll want to do is add them so that they'll show up in your calendar and are available to be booked online by customers. To do this, simply navigate to Team and then select Add a Team Member. This will take you through a flow where you can customize settings for each staff member and then invite them to log into Square or download the app to view their calendar. Next, you'll need to get set up with services. To do this, navigate to the Item section and then select Service Library. Here you'll be able to see any existing services you may have created and have the option to add a new one. To get started with a new service, simply fill out the fields like name, description, duration, and price, and then repeat these steps for each service you offer. Next, let's return to appointments to customize your booking policies. To get started with this, under settings, select calendar and booking. Here you can configure where you accept appointments and whether booking should be automatically accepted or whether you prefer to manually approve or decline each appointment request. You can scroll down to customize additional parts of the booking flow as well. And then of course, remember to hit save after you've made any changes so that they're instantly reflected in your booking flow. We can click through up onto the payments and cancellations page to set your payment policy as well. You have three options here. No requirements to book, require a full prepayment of the service, or require buyers to put down a card in order to hold their spot um, with no show protection. Now let's create an appointment. We'll go back to the calendar and simply find the available time slot you're wishing to book for underneath the corresponding service provider that you're looking to book with. In this case, I'll pick Cedric and I'll add a client, Alicia, to come in for a specific service. In this case, full highlights. Once I click save, the service will be added to the appointment. If that's the only service that this individual customer is coming in from, I can go ahead and save the appointment itself and select whether or not to send an optional notification confirming the appointment. In this case, I'll select to send an email. And that's it, the appointment saved. Lastly, let's look at how you can get started with online booking. On the left-hand side, go ahead and select channels. Here you'll see an option to promote your own online booking site. You can always disable online booking or in this case, since I've already enabled it, I have an option to go and preview the booking site that I have for appointments. Clicking view will open up a new tab and show all the individual services that I offer. In this case, I've decided to organize them by category along with the price and duration of each. This is the page that your customers will land on and be able to walk through to book the service that they want with the stylus that they prefer. Thank you.